Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we're here at DCA to bring you the ultimate Disney California Adventure Ride Guide. Every single ride and all the information you need to know to have a great trip. So let's get going. We'll start off the Disney California Adventure Ride Guide with those rides that don't have a height requirement. These are the rides that any person of any age can ride. First up in Hollywoodland is Monsters, Inc. Mike and Sully to the Rescue. This is a slow moving dark ride that follows the storyline of the movie. It's a very tame attraction with no tense or scary moments outside of the regular themes of the Monsters, Inc. movie. I'm watching you. Always watching. Next is Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure in Avengers Campus. This is the newest ride at Disney California Adventure that opened on June 4th, 2021. It's an interactive game that allows you to save the day with Spider-Man. It's slow moving, but the 3D glasses and the insane amount of web slinging you have to do will turn your arms to jelly. I give it an intensity rating of three for that reason alone. They seem to be stuck in self replication mode. If you could just handle that for me, please. On it. Contacting Mr. Stark. Don't call Mr. Stark! Over at Pixar Pier, there are a number of rides with no height requirement. The first is Jesse's Critter Carousel. Just as with King Arthur Carousel in Disneyland, this ride has an intensity level of two for its spinning motion. Right next door is Toy Story Midway Mania. This is the second interactive game ride in Disney California Adventure. This one won't turn your arms to jelly, but it's rapid spinning motions between games and the need to constantly yank on the cord to shoot still gives this ride an intensity level of three. The Pixar Pal Around is affectionately referred to as Mickey's Death Wheel, which is a spoof of its previous name, Mickey's Fun Wheel. This is two rides in one, really. If you choose the non-swinging side, it's an intensity of two, simply because of its heights. When I asked Amy how she would rate the swinging side, she answered 10 without hesitation. I'll give it a six, realistically. And yes, even a baby can go on this ride. The final ride with no height requirement in Pixar Pier is Inside Out Emotional Whirlwind. This used to be Flix Flyers in Bugs Land, which was most notably a children's area. So Emotional Whirlwind is on the tamer end, but because it spins and goes up high in the air, I rate it at two. Over in Paradise Gardens Park, you'll find two rides without height requirements. The first is the Golden Zephyr. I rate this a level three. Though it's essentially no different than Inside Out, it does spin a little faster, is higher up, and swings out further. Our five-year-old will ride this, but it's not his favorite while he loves Inside Out. Our final ride with no height requirement is the Little Mermaid Ariel's Undersea Adventure. This is the tamest ride at Disney California Adventure and my five-year-old's favorite ride in the entire Disneyland Resort. He loves The Little Mermaid, and this is just the perfect ride for anyone. It's dark, long, slow, and indoors. The line moves quickly and is a great reprieve in the summer months. If you are enjoying this video and finding it helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button for more Disneyland content. We also cover other Southern California theme parks like SeaWorld San Diego, Legoland, Knott's Berry Farm, and Universal Studios. Both rides with the lowest height requirement of 32 inches can be found in Cars Land. The first is Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. This is a whip style attraction that will toss you around. The fewer people you have per car, the more you're going to slide around. It's all extremely predictable though, as the ride moves in a figure eight pattern. Luigi's Rollickin' Roadsters is our next attraction with a 32 inch height requirement. This is a trackless ride that sees cars dance choreographed to music. This one does have some minor jerking movements and a big spin finale, but overall it's a less intense experience than Mater's. The next thing that you'll want to keep in mind is the rider switch. The rider switch is for use whenever you have little ones that don't meet the height requirement. The person who is sitting out can get their uh, pass scanned by the person at the front of the ride and it will allow them to go through the lightning lane entrance which will help them get through the line a little faster and you won't have to wait through standby twice. Rider switch is a lifesaver for those with little children. As with Disneyland, Disney California Adventure has five rides with a 40 inch height requirement. 
The first is Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout over an Avengers Campus. This attraction used to be the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror, and its intensity has actually been increased since it's been rethemed. In addition to the regular gravity-defying drops, the ride vehicle bounces during the video sequences. For this reason, Amy refuses to ride this ride. It's one of the most intense rides in the whole park. For those of you who have not been paying attention, the name's Rocket, yeah, yeah. one of the Guardians of the Galaxy, the smart one. Over in Cars Land again, we have Radiator Springs Racers. This is most similar to Epcot's Test Track attraction. It features sharp turns, a few jump scares, and a high-speed outdoor race sequence that gives Radiator Springs Racers an intensity of seven. If you saw my Disneyland ride guide, this information is very similar, but I did want to let you know about the single rider option. If members of your party are at least seven years of age, you can take advantage of single rider lanes at some of the bigger attractions. This lets you skip the main uh, standby line the single rider is a lot shorter. What they'll do is they'll put you together with other parties. You will very most likely be split up so you won't be sitting with your group, but it's faster and it helps you get through the rides a little quicker. Silly Symphony Swings in Paradise Gardens Park is a pretty standard theme park ride, but what makes this one unique is that it's built up high on a platform, making your swings fly even higher. Those with a fear of heights may have pause over this ride. The rocking of the swings and speed of the ride give this one an intensity of five. Riders between 40 inches and 48 inches must be accompanied by an adult in a tandem swing. Speaking of heights, Jumpin' Jellyfish is our next ride. This is a tamer version of Guardians of the Galaxy. With a height requirement of 40 inches, this ride is extremely gentle. I give it a rating of three based on how high up it goes alone. Our final 40-inch ride is Soarin' Around the World. This is an IMAX simulator attraction that takes you through multiple high-flying scenes around the world. It's a very gentle attraction, but can give those with a fear of heights panic attacks from perceived height. In reality, the ride vehicle is only about 40 feet off the ground. Moving on to those rides with a 42-inch height requirement, the first is Grizzly River Run. This is a water ride and is Disney California Adventure's Splash Mountain equivalent. The ride isn't nearly as long and has minimal theming. There are two notable drops, though the intensity rating comes mostly from the final drop and the adrenaline pumping fear of whether you're about to get completely soaked. Our next ride is Goofy Sky School in Paradise Gardens Park. My eight-year-old asked if he could choose the intensity on this wild mouse type ride, and he ranked it at a level eight. It features a tight, uncomfortable ride vehicle, repeated sharp jerky turns, and as with most wild mouse type rides, it feels like you're gonna fall off the ride with each turn. At the end, there's also abrupt stops that will slam you forward, making for a rough riding experience. And the last Disney California Adventure ride is the Incredicoaster. When Paradise Pier got its makeover to Pixar Pier, California Screamin' became the Incredicoaster. It's the same ride as always been, but with a fun and whimsical Incredibles theme. A 55 mile an hour launch, 108 foot drop, and single inversion give it an intensity level of 10, the highest rating in the entire Disneyland Resort. It's also the only ride with a 48 inch height requirement. Well, that's it for our time here at Disney California Adventure, giving you the ultimate ride guide. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in the video, go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I answer every single question here on the channel. Then hit the like and subscribe button for more Disneyland content. Thanks for watching. We will see you again next time.